everybody and welcome back to another Catacomb Kids Daily Run. This is the May uh, 28th, 2015 run for, uh, you know, this Daily Challenge series. Just chillin'. I uh, feel like it's gonna be a good day for runs, hopefully. I recorded another video earlier today and those runs actually were pretty god-awful, but... <laughs> Conveniently enough, that's actually making me feel a little bit confident here because I feel like I got out all of my mistakes and I'm ready to come in perfectly fresh and brand new. I actually really love this character as much as I kind of hate him because his magic is like unbelievable. And he starts with a shadow cloak and magical combat setup. So this guy could be really, really strong, and I think we might go for him. He's clumsy and loud. Clumsy is my least favorite trait, as many of you know. Um, hmm. I mean, but then again, this guy isn't necessarily bad at all. He's, he's good with daggers, which I believe that's the one that gives him just a straight-up level 1 bonus with daggers. Um, I forget 100%, though. Uh, and his negative traits are, aren't really bad at all. Plus, he's got a shield... Hmm. <laughs> Mage guy. You know what? I think we'll actually go with the bully. But this guy's got so much magic and so much health. We're gonna take the mage. I want to do this guy. Uh, basically, what this means is we are not going to be using like any um. Uh, we're not gonna be using any combat abilities at all. Shoot, I forgot that this is what magical combat is. Okay, then. Here's the plan. Uh, let's grab heal right off the bat, since that's my favorite healing spell. We're gonna put it in this setup, and then we're going to prepare ourselves to basically, uh, keep all the rest of our slots available available for offense. The reason why I set it up like this is because now in this slot, we could have an aggressive spell as well as, um, a heal. And in this slot, we can have an aggressive spell as long with as as long with an aggressive spell that is also a defense mechanism. So I think that that should work pretty good. We also got our slime right off the bat. This should go up in the same day that I recorded the 21st episode of the Catacomb Kids series. And if you guys watch that series, you'll know that um I recently became aware of the glory and almighty power of the Marif the glory and almighty power of the Mowerful slime, as I was about to say. Uh, basically, I recently realized how good slimes are, and I would love to continue to utilize that. So, I don't think we're gonna be able to kill this man. So, honestly, I'm just going to try to avoid him. Hopefully, he'll kill himself. Okay, we're just booking it. Kill yourself! <gasps> he did it! He did it! What a fool! Oh, I really should not run. I think we gotta walk. Uh, oh, wait, no, I want the clean halberd. I want- OW! Oh my frickety frick. I just want to pick up this man's corpse. Is there a way in this game to, like, swap what you're trying to pick up? Because that's something that needs to happen. <laughs> like... Oh my god, I just want to pick up his corpse without have risking, like, getting stabbed in the head. But that's okay, whatever. Uh, he probably didn't have all that good equipment on him, so probably doesn't matter all that much anyways. We do have the level up orb, pretty much right off the bat, uh, pretty early, uh, to say the least. Drop my slime ball, but, you know, we got back pretty quick. Let's level up before that evil man comes to try and mess with our day. So, go start with magic, get us that innate power, plus it also actually brings our, um... Magic capability to eight, which is kind of absolutely insane. Thank you for the slime once again. Hmm. Being able to blind enemies with our slime is, of course, going to be very, very good, as it always will be. I'm just not sure exactly... Okay, the exit is down there. I'm... Uh, let's, let's go into stealth. We've got so many charges for it. Uh, wait, no. You... Let's open this. Oh, a sigh. Minus one damage plus, but it's awkward. I, I think awkward is the reason why it has the negative damage. That's unfortunate. We're not going to take that then. We'll um swap out for a less bad slime. Hope nobody is down below after this man. Oh, I just wanted to sneak by him. And we can totally do it. Just book it. Just get out of there before he tries to um mess with our day or anything like that. There aren't any traps here so we can all see about. The poor little rat. He's dead. The poor little creature. 
Jacket of Reflection. So this is a really good jacket. It'll bring down our magic by two, but honestly, it's gonna be six then. So the thing that I'd care about more is the minus one intellect, and I think all the other benefits are much nicer. So let's go ahead and swap that out. Too bad our magic is, uh... Well, actually, that that's, that's really good, I think, that we did swap that out, because now our magic stats actually... Or a magic level actually accurately represents what we had before. Or or what our base uh, stats are. And I always prefer that over equipment giving you a magical bonus. Because it, it just feels to me like it's artificial, you know? Like that's not our real magical skill. Um, which of course it isn't. Because it's only because of equipment. I really need to stop running. Otherwise I'm gonna kill myself accidentally with clumsy... We haven't located anything so far. I could just sneak over that man, which I'm totally gonna do. Oh my god, I was so worried that that would make noise because I'm loud. <gasps> oh, shoot. Sorry, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Greatest kill I've ever seen. Only problem is I may have doomed this floor in hindsight. Let's hope that that's not the only way either to the exit or to... um the level up orb although it's looking like that might be the case oh gosh darn it okay i think that is the only way so what that means is we avoid piranhas as much as we can and we refresh the level well at least we got some uh free gold from attacking that guy free gold and the glory oh shoot the door is barred shut so we can only ref refresh floors once now? I actually really don't like that because, uh, like, you guys know I love this game and I think this game is in a super good advanced place for where it is right now. But in my off-screen play, in one day, in three runs, three runs that were all straight consecutive runs in a row, on all of them, I had a floor that uh, I could not access, like I could not continue through because I fell down a pit that I couldn't jump out of and was impossible for me to jump out of. Uh, basically, all these really sucky circumstances that happened. And it's amazing uh, in, in a game with this much randomness how uh, rare that is in the game right now. But it was kind of really sucky uh, seeing how frequently it can happen in this game. It is still alpha, though, so obviously those should be grinded out in the future. But it, it, it was just... Uh, that makes me a little bit upset if the... Oh god, refreshing the floors is barred off now because... Oh, they're gonna die. What idiots. <laughs> that was awesome. Is there anyone else in here? It's not a so. That is... Our intelligence is awful because we've got, like, no vision moving forward. So honestly, maybe with the next level I might want to boost our intelligence. Plus two to speed. Hmm... And that gives us that one intelligence that I was just lusting after, but might not be all that necessary. Yeah, they both have the same exact weapon. That's pretty funny. Uh, because they're both polished rapiers, right? Yeah, that's hilarious. Okay, then. Um, let's chain lightning this jabroni. First we'll shadow cloak, though. Oh, he's all alone? I don't think there's a point then. Oh, God, I almost accidentally crushed myself like an idiot. Okay, we wasted the Shadow Cloak, but the good thing about that spell is that it um, has a lot of charges, especially when you level up your magic. So, never really feels wasteful whenever I do actually use, like, one more. I mean, use it when it wasn't really necessary to. That's one of the things that I love about Shadow Cloak. Honestly, I think Shadow Cloak might be uh, one of my favorite spells in this game. Um, I think that there are a lot of situations where I it, it's, like, useless and awful. But I think that's also because I don't, um, use it to the avail that it's supposed to be. How the fudge did you notice me, you big old jerk? You died today because of that. Uh, he actually did zero damage to me, too. How good is our defense? Oh, yeah, it's four because this guy started with four defense. That's so good. Maybe we should boost our defense stat, then. Yeah, this guy's gonna be all magic, so I'm not gonna put any points into strength. I'm gonna do all defense and magic, maybe a little bit of intelligence, like I said. That, I, I think that should be a really cool, fun setup for this guy. We haven't used our slime ball. We need to use that before too long. Ah, fire and ice book. Do we want to use you? 
could always just make it a tome. Get ourselves a good old fire strike. But I do also love me some frost bolt. Hmm. You know what? Let's make it a tome. Uh, that way... We'll uh, just unequip it right now. That way we could have a, a, a really strong tome book, but also if I get like a Book of the Undead or Magic 101, that might be even better. Uh, I don't think we need Magical Blast. Uh, book Smack. It's a draining ability. Let's let's equip that tome and check it out. Um, we. Okay, there's a. There are two easy-to-kill creatures down there. I don't think we'll mess with either of them quite yet, though. So then, let's see. Do I want boost defense now? They'll bring it to five. Magic is at six. I think we could wait one floor on magic, so let's get one in defense. We'll get ourselves... Uh, our speed is very... We are very fast with our attack. So that makes me think that our chance to dis, uh, I mean to parry them might be better than, um, our chance to, like, clash. So let's go ahead and get to our block like we usually do. We've got spear, correct? Yes, we do. Okay, cool. Tome, I bring you out in all your almi almighty glory. Let's hope we, actually, let's get rid of that because I don't want to risk running into orcs. Oh, no! Give me my slime ball! You jerk. I need that. I need that to feel cool because... Who doesn't feel- Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wonderful. Hello there. How's it going? Uh, let's Shadow Cloak. Yeah, I was expecting that. <laughs> Shadow Cloak does not work if guys see you. Which I guess makes a lot of sense, but it's also annoying. He dealt me one damage! First damage we've taken on this character so far! The foolish fool. I should've used our slime. I don't know why I didn't do that. Um, that's okay. We're actually at six health as well. I did not realize that until now. I have a lot of faith in this run. I just gotta make sure, since I just said I have a lot of faith in this run, that automatically means that we're gonna die. Like basically, um, God, uh, in his, uh, cloud land, um, uh, <laughs> just make myself sound like a complete idiot with that one. Oh, I got poisoned! I, okay, so a po apparently, now I know, and knowing is half the battle, apparently poison, um, oh, that also heals our po- wait, let me read that. Does heal, uh, restore some health? It doesn't say anything about removing ailments, like negative stat ailments, so maybe heal just went away, maybe we actually, maybe heal does get rid of that as well, I'm not sure. That'll be an interesting thing to test out. But yeah, basically, uh, Good old God chilling up in the clouds is like, hey, you know what? You uh, you think you're doing good on this run? Well, oh my God. Okay, well, looks like we're already restarting this floor. <laughs> there needs to be a way to move stuff when it's below you. That's one thing I'll say. Because now we can't mess up on this floor since I can't refresh it. There was one floor that you could refresh in endless number of times. I'm... I, I have to presume that that was just the first floor in the game then? Like the- oh god, darn it. Hello there, how's it going? You just got zapped up the wazoo. Let's go ahead and turn invis. He probably will still be able to see me, but- He does not! Suck it, bro! I beat you up big old time, so let's get rid of that. Oh god, I accidentally burnt his corpse. You know what, we're doing that out of respect. That's our way of um being like, you, you were my enemy, Orc Man, but you were an honorable fighter, and I must at least appreciate and respect you for that. You honored your tribe and your uh, culture very well. Okay, here we go. Death Trap Land. Might as well activate that and run away. It's amazing how long it takes the traps that, the fire traps that look like they are really close and should activate like immediately. Like these, this one right here. It's amazing how long it takes those two gases to reach each other a lot of the time. So I have absolutely no idea how to get up to this level of orb. Which is a little bit frustrating. Basically there's an indestructible barrier of walls here, but... We'll work our way around. It looks like we might have found it here as a matter of fact. Magic 101. I still want to test that tome. Oh my god, look at that weird green cube. Because we already have that tome activated. Magical Blast might be good. 
I would really love to get like a raise the dead for our final spell though. Oh god, hello. Yeah, they can see better than I can. Let's turn invis and activate our tome. I want to drain you. Sucker! Sucker! I, I'm draining you of life! This tome seems like the biggest garbage I have ever seen. <laughs> like, that tome seemed awful! I, I mean, it's a draining spell, so maybe it deals low damage and heals us for health? I don't know. Well, well that's a good thing to test. I, I would love to take one damage from something, but I also don't want to take one damage from something. Hmm. Oh, God. Okay, that man's mad. We do have a ghost friend, though. We also have the Death Reaper below us. He's always there to chill whenever uh, level up orbs are present. It's just his favorite thing to do to annoy me. Um, so, charge up your tome attacks. Oh, that's right. I forgot that that's what that does. Okay, I think we're going to avoid that. Those level up abilities are probably very, 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 very strong. But I, I personally, I think they're worse than the bully ones. Um, probably depends on what tome you have, though, for sure. So I think for starters, I'd rather get rid of uh, Clumsy, make our character a bit more balanced. Don't necessarily need poise right off the bat, but I think there has been a ton of runs in the past where having some poise would have saved me. Uh, I'll just have to decide what I prefer more, additional poise or stealth. So let's check this out. First things first. I think it's best to Shadow Cloak. Do this in the most stealthy way we can. Just kind of sneak in and then sneak right back out. Awesome. And then, as an added bonus to that, why don't we go ahead, give ourselves our two charges. Hold cast to charge up more powerful spells. I would love to, uh, wait, hold cast to create a defensive aura from spells. We're gonna do overload. Strange. Because, oh my god, look at the star! Is that the only one that I can hold to cast then? Maybe that's what that means. Like, let's hold Shadow Cloak. Oh yeah, Shadow Cloak just activates immediately. That's sad that we can't do a more powerful power, powerful heal then, but I guess probably in a lot of circumstances it wouldn't really matter. Uh, do 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 do. So then. I don't want to charge up Tome Attacks. I don't think that has much of a point. So let's make ourselves less ridiculous. Ridiculous! This class is ridiculous. And then we'll just, um, mosey on to the exit, wherever that may be. Did we get a charge from this book? Okay, I figured we did. We did pick it up before, so I should have expected this as much. Whoa! What? I can see on the left of the map now. That's weird. There's like an orange outline there. I don't know how much you guys can tell because of YouTube darkening and all that jazz. Thank you for being my guinea pig. We now have discovered a regen potion that could be very great for us. Please. No! Oh, this is a very bad place to be. Let's leave and never come back. Leave now and never come back. Woohoo! I'm Gollum. I'm so happy and carefree. What if a. Uh, Gollum was like happy and carefree all the time. I mean, I guess then he would just be Smeagol because like Su Smeagol is super happy and carefree. I loved him when he was like that. He was so cute and nice, but then, God damn it. P can you please like leave me from, like keep me away from that hellish domain? I mean, honestly, with this badass mage with super high defense, I might be able to take down the Death Reaper, but I do not want to chance it. I would rather just, uh, live. <laughs> Especially this, since this is a, a daily run, and I do not want to end my life that foolishly. I'd rather continue progressing. We're only on floor three. We've taken things super slow. Oh, come in, my good sir. Oh, shoot. An additional plus two defense for minus one speed, minus one luck. I think I'm good. Take it. What's our current robe? Just because I'm curious. Might give us a jacket of reflection. I think it's I'm gonna take sense. it. I think I'm gonna take it, guys. I kind of really want it. This way, I'm gonna be unstoppable. Like... We've got seven defense. Okay, next level, I'm leveling up our lot, our intelligence. Because I'm starting to get a little bit worried that the way that we are going to die is because of, um... 
is because we're not being able to, we can't see properly. So I'm afraid I might run into something really stupid. And despite our huge amount of defense, we'll get killed. So, um, uh, hopefully we'll find the level up orb quick so we can do that. Because we can't see a thing. We are like practically blind. We could see the exit though. Do we have a piece of armor that's, huh. I wonder how we can see the exit already. Right. That might just be a quinky dink. Death Reaper is back in town, as always, because he never leaves and just is cursing me forever. What's down here? Okay, simple way to get past Skeleton. I would prefer to avoid that man uh, as much as I can because angry skeletons can cause you a lot of problems. We're almost towards eating a full stash of goo, guys. I've actually never done that before. Something I've wanted to do for a while now, so let's drop you. Skeleton man, oh, it's a dead end? You're kidding me. Okay, well fine. Uh, Then we'll just, continue. we're gonna leave that. I don't even want it. And then we're just gonna shadow cloak and try to get out of death reaper zone. Please. Okay, I'm out. We're close to the exit. Oh God, hello. How's it going? Uh, this might be Death Reaper land, so I would love to heal. There we go. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come at me. Come at me, bro. I'm just, be I'm just below you. Come on. You know you want to mess with me, don't you? Yeah, you're dead. How'd you like that, Mr. Skeleton Bro? Was it worth it? I bet it was not. Okay, cool. So that skeleton did a lot of damage. He hit us a lot. So the, the fact that we're able to survive that is quite incredible in my opinion. Oh, okay. Hello there, good sir. Uh, I would prefer it if you would leave me be forever. I don't hear the level, level up orb at all. There's no way it's down here, which really, really sucks. Why, where's, what's this guy doing? <laughs> Oh no! I've been revealed! They have discovered me! Can I uh they'll probably see me if I stealth again, but let's let's do that one more time. All we need to do is get to the next floor. Oh my god. What is that block? Uh what are those blocks? Oh god. Well, I killed another one. C can you test out these blocks for me, my good sir? Yeah, they're real blocks. Eat that. It's a potion of burning, thank God. Oh, God, he's gonna burn me! Uh... I think it's probably worth healing. First, I'm gonna zap that man. No, that's the wrong guy. Don't waste those charges. They are very valuable. No! Oh, my God. I hate this so much right now. Whatever. I'm healing. And then... That has to be like molten lava blocks. I imagine if we step on those, we're gonna catch fire and like risk dying. So I'm not going to do that. Let's get that. I figured he would locate me. So hopefully that'll kill him. There's the exit along with an angry ghoul. I really hate those angry ghoul guys because I believe I've actually never fought them before. And that terrifies me. I would love to kill that man though. He did it. He dropped a star. What's up with that? A charge star? Is that gonna give me charges? Give me the charges! It did nothing. Okay. <laughs> I presume that just charges are magic to full then? That's weird. That's a super hyper bat. Like super hyper, super hyper knuckles. There's also all those blue slimes. I've seen those guys very rarely. I don't really know what's up with them. So let's go ahead and watch a bit. Oh my God, it froze him. Okay, so he's got a freezing stat. I've got potion of ice though. So basically they could all suck it. And the level up warp is down here. I could not have asked for more. That is so good. This run is gonna be the bomb guys. We are going to succeed and do an amazing job. Okay. So, these are unimplemented. That means I'm gonna get that one level of intelligence. Hopefully that will increase our vision quite nicely. I think this is the norm, or what I've usually come to expect for vision, what we're dealing with right now. 
So that makes me feel pretty confident. There was a way to get to the exit up here, possibly? No, it's a dead end. Shucks. Okie dokie, artichokey. We're gonna have to deal with that ghoul man. The good news is our charges are full once again. Got a potion of ice as well, so maybe I'll just ice the ghoul. I don't know what's a better way. Let's ice him. Hello, good sir. Uh, allow me to just pass by you. Don't really want to mess with you at all. I'd rather just continue upon my merry way. And guess what, guys? We're in level five. That means we're probably gonna die immediately. Oh, I am not dying immediately. I died immediately while I was using heal. No. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Uh, okay, whatever. That was awesome, though. We made it to uh, floor five for what I think might actually be the first time ever. I'm so mad that it's taken me so long, but progress is progress. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. There's a level up orb there taunting us. You saw, though, heal was, like, in the process of being activated. Guy, and, and this is so scary, level 5, because imagine how strong these guys are. Like, Chain Lightning, which I'm imagining is one of the strongest spells in the game, I think that maybe it only hit the skeleton. I'll have to go back and rewatch that, because uh, it only killed one of those three guys. Um, but I think... It's called Chain Lightning, so I think it hits multiple dudes. Uh, it probably gets weaker for each guy it hits, though. And that one orc right next to my body is probably almost dead, because if you look at him, he's kind of, like, dripping blood. Um, but yeah, I, 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 not only was, um, like, with eight points in magic, I was not able to kill these guys, but um, seven points in defense, and they killed me from uh brought me from seven health to practically zero it was also a three-on-one situation so that's a lot of damage input uh but that's pretty wild guys a big old jerk wads but uh but anyways yeah thank you all for watching uh one thing that i've meant to mention with this series for a long long while but i think i keep forgetting is uh that the main reason that i try to upload these the day of uh recording the video is if any of you guys own this game and happen to play the same daily challenge uh the day that it goes up i'd love to hear what you guys thought of it uh how hard it was for you how far you got what trials and tribulations you endured what character you chose how things went differently for you all that i think would be very fun and interesting for me to hear but anyways, for the time being, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and or subscribing if you have not. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer, and I will see you all in the next one. See you guys!